Okay, hi, I'm Terry Igororo. Um, I'm a BCS, I'm the BCS Entrepreneur's Treasurer, and I'm an entrepreneur. You've just mentioned the specialist group. How is the specialist group coming along? The specialist group is developing really well. We've got a lot of fantastic stuff in the pipeline. We've got a lot more events like this, um, you know, coming through in the next few months. And we are really all about, you know, trying to engage the entrepreneur community and provide them support. You know, we're a, what's the best way to describe us? You know, a platform where we're trying to bring in all the different resources together to make the journey of entrepreneurship that much sweeter. So can you tell me a little bit about your own company and how it came about? Right, okay, so um, I'm working on a new startup now. It's really exciting, as you can see by the smile on my face. It's called um, eMindState. And um, eMindState is about the entrepreneur mind state. And what I'm doing is I'm training people to engage with their entrepreneur mind state because I run with a firm belief that everyone is born an entrepreneur. And throughout, you know, I've been iterating through my philosophy of what the eMindState is about. And I've come to the conclusion that there's two types of entrepreneurs. The video we watched just a moment ago, Startup Kids, was about external entrepreneurs. And external entrepreneurship is about going out and starting an organization outside of yourselves and outside of yourself and employing people. Whereas the internal entrepreneurship is something that we are born with. And internal entrepreneurship is, is managing the business of our lives, you know, applying creative and innovative thinking to um, create opportunities to enable us to get you know the things we want in life whatever that may be so it's not internal entrepreneurship is not about going out and starting an organization so with the e mind state what I'm you know what I'm trying to do the, the, the idea is to get everybody to engage with their entrepreneur mindset mind thinking so that you know they stop looking at problems and start seeing opportunities so if you were to give one piece of advice to someone who is thinking of starting up a a new business what would it be go for it you know it's in a nutshell go for it i mean we hear so i mean no matter how many ways we hear it you know jump off a cliff and build a boat on the way out so i can float or build a plane or build a parachute or just go for it what's the worst that can happen what, why is this sort of event so important do you think this event is important because um it's about getting the the it's about people recognizing that you know entrepreneurship the entrepreneurial journey of a startup is very real and you're not alone and people have actually gone through the things that you're about to go through or you're going through talking to other people and seeing where they are it helps you even spark ideas you you know you start networking you start finding ways that your business can connect with another business I mean it's really about the community and the support because Although they say entrepreneurship is a lonely journey, it's not because there are so many entrepreneurs out there. And when I say entrepreneurs, I'm talking like external entrepreneurs, people who are, you know, startup entrepreneurs. There are so many out there. There's thousands of them, millions of them. You know, so it's not a lonely journey if you actually go out and mingle with them and you know, you've got problems and you might be able to solve their problem and they might be able to solve your problem. Just a, a friendly chat creates a mastermind and you have a eureka moment. Uh, do you think the UK government at the moment is doing enough to help uh, young up-and-coming entrepreneurs? Um, you know what, I, yeah. I mean, some people might say no, but what more do you want? Create your opportunity. You know, we hear about people who build something from nothing. They build things from five pounds. They build things from 200 pounds. What more do you want? You know, so I think they are doing enough. Um, it's about actually becoming more savvy in the knowledge. You know, so that's where, you know, BCS entrepreneurs come into play because we have the knowledge. So if everyone connects with the knowledge, then it makes it, you can actually leverage all the different schemes and everything that's out there.